10 most dangerous cities in America. I'm excited to jump into this. See what cities in America the most dangerous. Yeah, let's get straight into this and check this out, man. What are you trying to hide? Don't you realize you're involved in a murder? Oh. You've got yourself in a jam it's not going to be easy to get out of unless you're on the level with me. This is no time for secrets. Murder. Such a scary word. Well, I did Depending on where you live, it can be a really scary word. Or just another regular day in my hood word. Hopefully, if you live in a really scary, murdery... What, murder is a regular word? ...place, you probably have your doors locked right now as you watch this informative video. No, mm -hmm. you'll be okay. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Things might seem like they're going to hell in a handbasket these days, as the saying goes. But you might be surprised to hear... It's not as bad as it used to be. Going back to 1950, when they started counting murders, I guess, today's homicide rate is far below its peak. Oh, we're closer wow. to how things were in the mid-60s. These Yo, what was going on between the 60s and uh, the 90s, bro? What was going on then? Days. Back in 1970, 1980, and 1991, things were really bad. Like there were twice as many murders than today. Wow. And dear American, you think things are bad in your hood? Check out the murder rates in other countries. Now we'll go into this. Wait, this is interesting actually. Where's America on this? They're not, they're not even. I don't see them. I, I don't see UK either. It's a little bit later, but for perspective, El Salvador has 11 times more murders per capita than the USA. Wow. In fact, it's kind of a Central American Caribbean sweep for highest murder rates outside of a couple of African nations. We're way down here. Somewhat near as many murders per capita as Greenland and Samoa. All right, so America's quite low down. Where's the UK? The least murdery country? Because honestly, it's very rare. Like you don't, I don't hear murders in the U Like it happens. But like, you don't hear of it much. There's a handful of small. Wait, did we just pass it? Greenland and Samoa, the least murdery country. There's oh, 1.2. Oh yeah, that's pretty low. The United States 5.3. Yeah, For that's pretty low. Is Greenland and Samoa, the least murdery country. There's a handful of small countries where nobody got murdered last year. Oh, and wow. Then Japan, where hardly anybody gets murdered ever. I guess oh, they wow. don't have guns there. Today in America, you have about a 1 in 20,000 chance of being murdered. But that number is much higher if you live in the cities we're going to talk about. So, Yo, 1 in 20,000 chance. That's actually a really low high. But basically, that's like, that's not in your favor, you know what I mean? One in 20,000. That's not that much. So lock your doors as we go through America's murder capitals 2020. Right, let's see. Let's see. The places to avoid. All right, let's get started here. First up on our murder capital tour of the US Newark. is Newark, New Jersey. Here in Newark, there were a total of seven. By the way, let me know if you guys are from any of these cities or states or whatnot. Let me know how it is, how it is now, what's going on. And if you guys are like are locking, well, I, I lock my doors. You know what I mean? So I hope that you guys are locking your doors. 75 murders, which may or may not sound like a lot. But for a city of 282,000 people, that's a lot. Right. For perspective, the entire state of West Virginia only had 67. You have a 1 in 3,000 chance of being killed in Newark every year. And get this, that's actually way- 1 in 3,000? A school is near that number. That's like one person per school every year. Yo! Way down from the peak in 1960. That means Newark is safer now more than ever, and it's still really bad here. Wow, what's Apparently, going on? Apparently they've been cracking down here in Newark with aid coming from the FBI, State Attorney's Office, and New Jersey State Police. Newark PD has even resorted to providing haircuts for kids for school, giving away turkeys and coats, along with school supplies to quell the violence. But the kids aren't the ones shooting people? If you don't want to get killed, stay in the north and east parts of Newark. If you want to be killed, then go to the south and west parts of Newark. Wow, nah, yeah, Their town nah. is apparently better, but still nowhere near safe. 
Outside of Camden, Trenton, Atlantic City, and Patterson, the rest of the state's pretty safe since as a- Why is it so high? Is there a lot of like gang crime in these uh, places or not? Like what's going on? What's the reason for it? The whole, New Jersey's the fifth safest state in the US. Where are we head, huh? New Jersey's the fifth safest state in the US. Really, with this place? Where are we head next? Let's follow this paramedic to Kansas City, Missouri, right, AKA KCMO, AKA KC Ghetto, at least in some parts. Here in Kansas City, Missouri, there were 137 murders last year. That's more than the whole state of Massachusetts. What's wow. going on here, people? It's getting worse here, at least lately. Last year, the city nearly broke a record for murders, which it had set two years prior. And just a most are unsolved. About every single murder is unsolved, meaning the perps are still on the streets here. The KCPD has been urged to put more homicide detectives on the streets and develop a witness protection program to make it easier for people to come forward with leads. Just as I was writing this, a mass shooting in Kansas City was at the top of the news. Wow. I think they said this happened at a Kansas City Chiefs celebration party. Why does sports bring out the worst in people? People? Two thirds. Yo, what's going on, bro? Why are they all unsolved? Like most of them. Why? Like, what is going on? So those killed in Kansas City were black males, contributing to Missouri's number one ranking for black homicide victimization. Don't worry, Missouri. We'll be back again to visit you again before the end of this video. But for now, we heard. Oh, they got another place in this list. Well, okay, okay. Some gunshots. So we're gonna go en route to the city of Memphis. Here in Memphis, there were 191 murders. What the? What the? That's more than the whole state of Wisconsin in a year. And wow. it's getting worse here, too. Two years ago, Memphis saw 180 people get killed, and then last year it was 187. It's so bad here in Memphis that officials are calling it a crisis. <laughs> you think? The Justice Department That's now has mad. a plan to solve problems in places like Memphis. It's called Operation Relentless Pursuit. It's going to involve more money, officers, and technology, and sinking databases to try to figure out a way to catch these killers. If you're watching this from another country... Honestly, it's actually mind-blowing, especially being from the UK. Like, if somebody murders somebody in the UK, they're pretty much going to get caught. It's kind of, like, when I think about it, obviously it does happen, but, like, it's really hard to get away with crime in the UK because there's cameras everywhere and whatnot and it's very everyone's close by so yeah I, America being big I can see how it's a little bit harder but yeah with most cases unsolved that's mental that's mad well yes the United States has some really terrible scary places but nothing like countries like Venezuela where 8% of all murders happen worldwide Mexico saw 6% huh? of the world's murders last year Colombia had 6% of the world's murders. Brazil had 4% and South Africa had 3%. And here's a troubling stat. 400,000 people were murdered worldwide last year. That's more than died from drowning. Twice as many people. Wait, 295,000 295, people died from drowning? Oh, wow. Poisoning 72,000? Oh, wow. Road injuries, 1.2 million. Diarrhea. Oh, diarrhea. Wait, what's that? I thought that said diarrhea. Oh, wait. Wait, no, that does say that. That says diarrhea. Huh? Well, I don't know what that is. Cardiff. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Yo, this is mad. People, or 800,000, killed themselves last year. If you live in twice huh? as many people worldwide last year, that's more than died from drowning. Twice as many people, or 800,000, killed themselves last year. Wow. If you live in certain Baton Rouge neighborhoods, you might feel like you're in a foreign country. That's because you have a 1 in 2,800 chance of being murdered if you live here. 83 people were homicide victims last year, which was actually down from 2017 when 105 people were killed. That's a lot. This person lives in Baton Rouge and she had some poignant things to say. Crime, violence, mental health issues, racism. I can count on two hands the people worth the investment of a long-term relationship. 
I hated moving there as a child and I fully loathe the place now. Louisiana can literally break off and float out into the Gulf and I wouldn't care, <laughs> except I hope Baton Rouge was the first to drown. Damn. Wow. <laughs> the areas in Baton Rouge where most of the murders happen are in low income areas where high drug use and gangs are prevalent. Makes sense. No surprises there. Hurricane Katrina made the problem worse, apparently. Did you know Louisiana has the highest incarceration rate in the world? I think, maybe. I heard that once, Mappy. Is that really true? Wow, it looks like Louisiana had way more people locked up a few years ago, but it's gone down. What, are they letting people out? Also, Oklahoma... Yo, no wonder the crime's so high if they're letting people out. I took the lead for a minute. In terms of countries... Oh, yeah, we're number one. The most locked up people of all. So Louisiana does oh, have wow. more people locked up than... Oh, wait, England's quite high. ...anywhere else in the world per capita. And look at all the countries that are over capacity for their prisons. Wait, over... Wait, jail over capacity? What, so is this 107% over? England's 112? Kings 284? Wow. Have you ever been to jail, Mappy? No, never, and I don't plan to. Yeah, well, I don't think you'd survive very long in there. Maybe I'd make friends. The other prisoners could use me to find a way to escape. <laughs> That's a good point, Mappy. Oh, good old Mappy. Please don't ever wind up in jail. We'll never see you again. We don't have to go very far to get to our next murder capital. New of the Orleans. US, New Orleans. Here, 119 people were murdered last year that they know of, which is way better than in previous years. Wow. Like in 50 years. But why? Well, for one, the mayor says her plan on using data-driven police interventions and community outreach is working. The Big Easy was the murder capital of America in 94, and from 94 to 2013, the city averaged 250 murders annually. Oh, but it's still bad here, and it's still more dangerous than in most places in Mexico and Venezuela. Tourists and residents are told to walk in groups. I've been to many Already? areas in New Orleans, and besides just the rundown post-Katrina neighborhoods, you can almost get stabbed just a block off of Bourbon Street while taking a pee by a dumpster. Happened to me. There's huh? rules. If you live in certain Baton Rouge... Oh, wow, I skipped a lot. Yo, I, I was that in shot. I actually skipped a bunch, bro. Wait, so he nearly got, like, stabbed? Easy was the murder capital of still in groups. I've been to many areas in New Orleans, and besides just the rundown post-Katrina neighborhoods, you can almost get stabbed just a block off of Bourbon wow. Street while taking a pee by a dumpster. Happened to me. There's rules on what to do so you don't get killed in New Orleans. Stay away from bad neighborhoods. <laughs> okay. Travel in right. groups. Be home by 1 a.m. Don't go to cemeteries. Don't look like you're weak. Carry a gun. Don't, don't go to cemeteries. Why? Don't look like you're weak. Great. Okay. Be home by 1 a.m. Don't go to cemeteries. Don't look like you're weak. Carry a gun. Okay. Carry a gun. Man, some serious stuff. I'm off to get myself a gun if I go there. Then. Is daring to reach up. Some Detroiters prefer to dwell in these new self-contained cities within a city. Others in new cooperatives or friendly neighborhoods. Whatever the choice. Detroiters rate their city high for living, working, and sheer enjoyment. Fair enough. Yeah, Detroit is nothing like that now. <laughs> of course Detroit's on this list. No, I... This city saw 261 people murdered last year alone, which what? is more than the whole state of New Jersey, which has a city on this list. And murders are down here, too? It's only the first time since 1967 where there were less than 300 killings in this city. Probably because everyone's leaving? Typically, Mad. a city's crime rate goes up when its population goes down. So Detroit's an interesting case. Hopefully, it's a long-term trend. But if you think that's bad, in 1974, there were 714 murders here. And in 91, there were 615. What? So now's nothing. Of course, population declines left a ban. Yo, what's going on in Detroit, bro? And in buildings behind, which have become magnets for the drug trade and angry, mean people. Poverty, crime, shootings, drugs, and urban blight in Detroit are ongoing problems. Poverty-wise, a typical Detroit neighborhood made about 25 grand last year, the second lowest in the country, and about half of what the typical American household made. Similarly, its poverty rate of 40% is the second highest in the country. Well, oh, more wow. than double the national poverty rate of 
Birmingham, Alabama is our fourth murder capital. Birmingham! For the US. It's funny because I actually live pretty much in UK Birmingham. That might throw you off since Detroit's only fifth, but if you're measuring actual murders per capita, the numbers don't lie. Here in Birmingham, there were 88 murders. And for a city of just over 200,000 people, oh, wow. that means residents have a 1 in 2,400 chance of being killed every year. You know your city's bad when the Venezuelan government's telling residents to avoid you. <laughs> How are people being killed in the U.S.? This chart shows that about half of all murders are by a handgun, another 3,000 are by an unidentified gun, 1,500 people were stabbed to death, and then you have bare hands, blunt objects, poisoned? Only five people were poisoned last year in the U.S.? What? That seems low. Now, Birmingham's a very black city, where two-thirds of the population is African-American. What percentage of murder victims in the U.S. are black men? Well, according to this chart, black Americans were only slightly more likely to be killed in the U.S., casting aside the myth that most murders in the U.S. are black-on-black -black crimes. Right. Another interesting stat. That's actually that really interesting right there. That is actually really interesting. That, um... Is pretty, they're pretty much in line. They're pretty much in line. Most murders in the U.S. are black on black crimes. Another interesting stat, most murders don't cross racial lines, meaning white people kill white people and black people kill black people. Oh, wait, okay. White victims killed by blacks? Black victims kill Okay, wow, interesting. Of all black homicide victims, 86% were male and the average age is 31 years old. 83% of black victims were shot and killed with guns. Here in Jackson, Mississippi, things certainly have been better, especially on the south side of town. There were 78 murders here, which means folks had a 1 in 2100 chance of being a victim themselves. Crazy. That's only twice as high as dying in an accidental drowning. I don't I don't want those odds. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want these odds. These are places that I'm staying clear from when I come to America. Heck, your odds of falling down the stairs and dying is 1 in 1600. Wow. Jackson's crime has been- Wait, is that how- Is that how- 1 in 1600? You have a 1 in 1600 chance of falling downstairs and dying? Bro, what? Been ticking up lately, but look at the last few years. This news channel in Jackson keeps a running tally of Jackson murders, which is sad. Last year ended with a bunch of shootings right on New Year's Eve in Jackson where people were just randomly shooting into homes. Wow. What is going on? People? Really? Which U.S. cities are actually decreasing their murder rates? Well, New York City had like 2,200 murders in 1990, but their murder rate's down by 90%. Chicago... Bro, that's mad. People just running around and shooting in random homes? ...peaked in the early 90s as well, though the South Side is notoriously terrible for shootings. San Francisco, too, though covered in poop, has seen its homicide rate go down by quite a bit. Of the Who's our homicide runner-up? St. Louis is. Here, more than 194 murders happened last year. For a city of over 300,000 people, that's wow. a lot. Wow. You have about a 1 in 1,600 chance of dying in St. Louis every year, and likely by a gun. Way back in the early 90s, there were 100 more murders a year here, and over time, murders here have gone up and down, but currently, the number of murders each year are as high now as this city's seen since the late 90s. Downtown's pretty nice, at Mad. least in the winter months, a fact I can attest since I was just there a month ago. However, the north side of St. Louis is very, very bad, and where most of the problems happen, likely between people fighting over drugs or gang BS or both. St. Louis has a new plan called Cure Violence, which resembles Chicago's plan called Cease Fire. The goal is to treat gun violence like it's a disease and to stop its spread by helping youth see alternatives to violence right. and by convincing gunshot victims from retaliating. Okay, who's our murder capital of the USA? Baltimore, Baltimore is. Or as people have called it, Bodymore Murderland. Here in Baltimore, there were 350 murders wow. last year, which is the highest it's been since 1993 and close to an all-time high. It's also five years in a row now that there have been more than 300 murders in Baltimore. You have about a 1 in 1,700 chance of being murdered in Baltimore every So that's actually the last St. Louis. You've actually got more odds of dying were being murdered but yeah this is crazy 350 murders in a year year and much higher in, in certain city? parts of the city this site's been tracking homicides in baltimore and the last hundred only goes back to halloween and it's january right now look at the last mayors of baltimore resigned didn't run for re-election resigned resigned didn't run for re-election 
Would you want that job? Wow. In Baltimore, the stated targets for busts aren't drug offenses. It's trying to find all the damn handguns. There's similar plans on what to do to curb the violence and murder rates here, but it's all the same thing. Yeah. Yo, all the mayors going to Baltimore, they're literally going to, like, being a mayor, like, a first step into, like, the job category, you know what I mean? And then they're literally trying to find a new job instantly straight afterwards. They're like, oh, hell no, I can't do this, bro. You know what I mean? I got this for my CV and now I'm off. And it probably won't work. They've even considered flying surveillance planes over Baltimore 24-7. Wow. People say the police aren't as aggressive since the Freddie Gray murders and riots in 2015. Others say it's all the illegal guns laying around. Some say it's a drug crisis. Well, there were 417 mass shootings last year in the U.S., more than one every day. It's white versus white, black versus black. Lots of people here are sick and big pockets. Ne more than one every day shootings. Wow. Kids of inner cities in the U.S. have had a breakdown of morality and family values. When the culture of the streets takes precedence over getting a damn job and being responsible, there's nothing we can do to stop it. Except throw them all in jail. Can we do that? <laughs> nice. I, I don't think hey, so, but really good video. I enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, especially if any of you guys are from those places. Please let me know. Really interesting. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you thumbs up, grab for more content. I'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash l3wg. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'm live right now doing a sub of fun. If you guys want to check it out, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.